Good morning, friends. It's another bright and early morning out in the garden, about 6.30, about 64 degrees. Every day this week has been mid 80s. And I'm pretty sensitive to the heat anymore. I had a heat stroke um, quite a few years ago and ever since I can't do it for too long. So I make sure to do my gardening in the morning and it is the best time to do a lot of things. But I wanna share with you guys cause we are doing a bunch of random stuff today. Nothing um, earth, earth shattering. Let's get my coffee out. So I have never dealt with this before, but it appears it's an issue this year because I see a lot of people dealing with it and that is flea beetles, guys. I've never ever had them in my garden and they are all over my potato plants. So I brought out just some homemade soapy water mix. Um, and I also grabbed, we have these um, fly trap things. I only had one left, but I'm gonna just hang it up as an experiment and see if I catch anything on it. And then I need, but before I do that, I've got a big stainless steel bowl so I can do a lettuce harvest because I don't want soapy lettuce and stay tuned and find out what's in the um, nasty old pill case. So we'll find out what we're gonna do with what's in that. And then guys, I'm dealing with yet another new bug on my cabbage and it is slugs now. Don't know where they're coming from because typically slugs like a mulchy environment and there's no mulch around my cabbages. So I got dealt with all those caterpillars, got that under control, and I'm like, what the heck is still eating them? And I'm finding slugs on them now. So they're gonna get a soapy water spray too. So let me go grab the harvest of lettuce and we'll be back with our bug spray. I did get out here and um, leveled up the mulch on my potatoes um, with just more leaves. And I had just tons from that when the polar vortex came through and I was protecting everything. That's a big old bowl of lettuce. Man, this is the fourth one this year and it gets bigger and bigger every single time. Some beautiful iceberg leaves. It's my favorite um, variety I'm growing. Bring you guys down here. Um, so this year was my first year growing both Buttercrunch and Iceberg and I'm loving them. And then I always grow in my gardener's mixed salad green which is phenomenal because you get fun stuff in it. Um, lettuce I had in mind, uh, the Mizuna lettuce, red lettuce, the um, tatsoi, and spinach in it. So it's been a really fun harvest this year. But let me get to spraying down the potato plants um, with the soapy water spray, and we'll see if we can get these flea beetles under control. If I see any of them, I'll show you what they are. I'm not seeing any this morning. Maybe they go on hiding in the morning. Uh, one, of the oops. one of the reasons I want to spray in the morning is just because I don't want the harsh soapy water on my potato plants during the midday sun. <clears throat> Farmers going by, probably to spray their crops. Um, so the recommended recipe, of course, is Dawn. I don't have Dawn, so I just use my Castile soap and just water. I think that there is a blend where you can put essential oils in it. Whoops, we're foaming out. And another great tip, if you um, have the opportunity to invest in it, get yourself some, one of those big pumper spray bottles. I have one, but I use it for the cleaning solution for my chicken coop. So I just need to get another one to um, 
for having out here in the garden for stuff like this. So I'm just gonna go around and spray the foliage. And I have my first potato blossoms already. Okay, right, oops, you just saw it jump right there on that leaf, that little brown speck. They, they jump just like fleas. And here's some here. So, yeah, they're just all down there really bad. But what the soapy water does is it kills it on contact. So, I'm gonna get in here really good and spray everything I can down. The good thing is that, oh, I just broke that flower stem off. Um, the good thing is it's not gonna rain for a few days, so I should be able to get them under control. I may have to come out and do it again in like seven days. I don't know what their incubation period is. Alrighty, I'm gonna do my cabbages too. And I'm gonna tell you guys, if I find a slug, I'm gonna show you. Um, it has been an all out battle protecting my cabbages. I'm still finding these suckers. I don't know where they're coming from. It's like they're aliens. They weren't there yesterday, they're there today. I'm seriously, I'm out here three times a day doing this. Fighting the good fight. Okay, I just finished spraying down all my cabbages. I only found Two more caterpillars. I didn't see any slugs this morning. But guys, I just killed seven squash beetles off one of my zucchini plants. And it just has its first set of true leaves. And they were mating like crazy. So I squashed them all in my fingers. That means I have to go get diatomaceous earth and sprinkle it all out here. You guys, I don't know what's going on with 2020. Ooh, I'm already hot. The last thing, um, not the last thing, I was going to move on to what's in the potato sack, but I forgot I need to, if you guys caught my onion video, I said I needed to fertilize them and I didn't get it done that day. So I'm going to give them a, that's five gallons, right? So two teaspoons per gallon. So about 10, 10 tablespoons, sorry. All right, let's go pour it on those onions. It's nice to have that job done. Um, you're gonna, if I didn't say it in the video, uh, do that at least two to three weeks through the growing season of your onions. Um, so, what's in the bag? Come look. All right. <clears throat> so, I've always wanted to do this, and I saw Courtney over at Life on Beagle Road posted a fun Instagram story, I think it was, and this is going to be compost tea. So, I've been saving up all of our bananas, eggshells, coffee grounds, there's tea bits, old tea leaves in here, and I think that's the majority of it. So, I may, um, yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna put in just a dab of fish fertilizer. And we're gonna tie up the bag and it's kinda gonna act like a really big, um, where did I put my string go? It's kinda gonna act like a really big tea bag. And then that way I don't have to strain my bucket. I can just pull the um, pillowcase out and dump the leftovers in the compost pile. But I'm gonna let this steep for probably five days. And what it makes is a really good fertilizer or um, good bug repellent too that you can spray on the leaves of your plants. Okay, so this I'm just going to set in a sunny location in the garden and the sun will steep it as you would make a sun tea 
and in a couple days it'll be ready to use. So guys, not a whole lot going on in the garden um, other than fighting the good fight. It is a continuous um, battle of the bugs when you're organic gardening and you um, don't want any of those critters on your plant. So I'm just going around and sprinkling everything with DE real good. And I'll talk to you guys on the next video.